a legal problem called binary tree pre-order traversal. So we basically given a tree node, right, the root of the tree node, we want to return the pre-order traversal of its node's value. So for pre-order traversal, we always have to traverse the current node and then the left subtree and then the right subtree, right? So if I have a node, uh, if I have a tree like this, right, a simple tree, this is the root, this is the left, this is the right. So in this case, we have to traverse the current node first, right? So if this is one, this is two, this is three. So we traverse this node, we add it onto the list, and then we traverse the left subtree, which is just two, and then the right subtree, just three, right? So, it, so it's always the current node, the left subtree, the right subtree, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can be able to do this using recursive approach as well as iterative approach. So to solve this problem, basically what we have to do is we have to use, um, sorry, for pre-order traversal, basically what we have to do is we basically just um, use a recursive function, right? So this recursive function, we basically have a base case. If the current root is null, we can just return. Otherwise, we can just add the current node onto the list. So this is our list link list, and we add the current node's value onto our list. And then we traverse the left subtree. So once we've done the traversing the left subtree, we will traverse the current node's right subtree, right? So let's give you, let's do a bigger example. So if I have a tree right, like this, right? So if I have, maybe this is four, this is two, this is five, one, this is three, six, seven, okay? So if I want to do pre-order traversal, uh, basically what we have to do here based on this code, right? So we add the current nodes onto the list. So we have four. So then we traverse the left subtree. So now we're at this left subtree right here. So we add the current node onto the list, which is node two. And then we traverse the left subtree, which is no one, right? So now we add no one onto the list. So we know the left is basically null. We know the right is basically null. So we're done. So we're coming back to this root right here. We, we're coming back to the parent stack. And then, we, and then we're traversing the right subtree, right? Because we're done traversing the left, we're traversing the right. So we have three. So once we're done adding the three, right? The current levels nodes value. Then we try to go for the left. In this case, the left is null. The right is also null, so we don't we don't go there, right? So we're coming back to the, the the parent stack, which is node four. So node four now we're going to go go down to the the right subtree. So we add five. So five has a left subtree, so we add go down to the left subtree. So now we have six. Six doesn't have the left subtree. Six doesn't have the right subtree. So we go back to the parent root. So the parent root go down to the right subtree. So now we have seven. In this case, seven doesn't have a left subtree and seven do doesn't have a right subtree, so it's pretty much done, right? So once we've done that, we're coming back to the parent root. The parent root is no four. We're already done traversing the, no uh, the right subtree, so our job is pretty much done. So we're returning this list back to the function, which is the result, right? Result the list. Uh, we were returning the, the list of notes value, right? So this is how we do it in recursive approach. And you can see the time complexity is basically a big O of n where n is the number of nodes that we have in our um, uh, binary tree. And the space complexity in this case is basically height of the tree, right? So in this case, the height of the tree, or big O of h. So now let's take a look at how we can be able to do this using an iterative approach. So to do this using an iterative approach, um, basically you can see uh, we're using a stack, right? So we know the stack the structure is uh, basically last in first out, right? So if, so last element into the stack, right? So if I put one here, two, three, four, the first one out of the stack is four, right? Because that's the top element on the stack. So what we can do is we can use uh, iterative approach to perform this DFS using stack destructure, right? So we have a list to keep track of all the result values, right? All the notes values in pre-order uh, uh, traversal, right? And then the base case is that if the current root is null, we can just return the empty list. Then we create the stack. So in this case, we have an empty stack, right? So let's say we have a binary tree like this. So 
So what we're gonna do is we're basically adding the current node, right? So the first node onto the stack. So no, notice that the stack is a type tree node. So we're adding tree node onto the stack. So we know the stack is not empty. So we take the top element out of the stack and then we're just adding that onto the list. Then we check to see if, um, because in this case, the stack is last in first out. So we're actually adding the node three or the right subtree because the right sub subtree is something that we're gonna traverse last, right? So we want to visit the left subtree first. So we have to put the left subtree on the top of the stack. So we add the right subtree or the, the right node onto the stack. Then we add the left node onto the stack as well because we want to traverse the left subtree first. So in this case, we add this onto the stack. And then what we're gonna do is that for in the next iteration, we take the top element out of the stack, which is node two. So we add that onto the list and then we add, we do the same procedure, right? We, we basically see if the right node is exist in this subtree, right? For this node, does it have a right node? In this case it does. We add five because we want to visit the right subtree last, right? And then we visit, no, we add the left subtree first, right? So in this case, node four, right? So we want to visit no, the, left sub, the left node or the left subtree first. So we keep it, we adding uh, onto the top of the stack, right? So we have no four, we take no four out of it. So then no four does not have left and right. So we're back to here. So we have no four, sorry, no five. So we add no five onto the list. And then no five doesn't have a left and right. So we come back to this, right? It's because we finished traversing the, the left subtree now. And then now we're focusing on the right subtree. So what's gonna happen then is we're going to pop the top element out of the stack, right? So we have no three out of the stack. We add it onto the list and we know that no three has a left and a right. So we add the, no, uh, the right node first, right? Because we want to visit the right subtree last, right? So we want to visit the left subtree first. So then we add no six onto the stack. So we have no six on the top of the stack. So then we, at no six or the no six value, uh, take no six out of the stack. We add it onto the, the result list, right? No six doesn't have a left and the right. So we continue, we take the top element out of the stack, which is no seven. No seven does not have a left and right. So we add it onto the list. And at the end, you can see that basically we're returning a list with a uh, pre-order traversal, right? So pretty much uh, this is how we solve the problem. And you can see the time complexity for this is also big O of n, where n is number of nodes that we have in our binary tree. And the space complexity is also big O of h, um, which is the height of the tree, right? So there you have it, and thank you for watching.